What's going on y'all? It is me Jefferson from CaseLodges.com with a first impression video on the Nike KB Mentality. Now this retails for $100. Um, this is Kobe Bryant's uh, second team model. Um, you got the signature model, then you got the Dream Season, then you got the KB Mentalities in no specific order. But um, I'm really glad that Nike is putting out other products for Kobe Bryant other than signature model. Um, so these again retail for $100 <clears throat> and they run, they run for me, they run true to size. Uh, but again, it's always, it always helps to um, to try them out. Um, they fit like any other Kobe, you know. Um, now, they do look a lot like the Kobe 8s, and they feel a lot like the Kobe 8s, but they look even more reminiscent to the Kobe 5. Um, that's probably because of this little, uh, on, the, on the side. Uh, yeah, so they look like the Kobe 5, which is awesome. Love the Kobe 5. One of the best basketball silhouettes ever. So... Now the cushion, unlike the Kobe 5, the cushion remains to be Lunar Lawn, just like the Kobe 8s were and the Kobe 9s. Uh, but the cushion on this uh, KB Mentality is less dense. Um, it's a lot lighter, you know, um, but it's, it's, it's just as functional. Um, you could use the Kobe 8 insert if you want. Um, like for instance, the Kobe 8 All-Stars. You, know, you get one of these, you got zoom in in the back. So you just go ahead and slide it right in. And then boom, you know, bam. Then you can take it right out. So I like I like how Nike's made this, and then you know you could interchange uh, insoles. Um, I'm even gonna put the LeBron 11 insole and see if it works in here. Um, so yeah. so the traction on them, uh, you got uh, different kinds of uh, patterns on the heel. You have this herringbone, and then you got the Shizoku logo right there. Then you also have this middle area, the print, kind of like the uh, Kobe 4s. The Kobe 4s had the whole Spider-Man theme to it, which is cool. It's a nice little nod to that. Then you have this section right here, which is kind of weird, you know? It's just some random um, pattern right there. So then you got the uh, full-on herringbone in the forefoot. And now the rubber on this, I thought it would be a little bit more durable for outdoor use, but it is pretty soft. These won't... Um, last long outdoor. You can play in these outdoor, shoot around and whatnot, but I wouldn't play in these more than one or two games outdoors before it starts uh, tearing and wearing out. So I uh, keep these indoor and I think the traction is going to do really well. The, only, the main difference between the KB mentality and like a Kobe 8 um, is the upper. The upper is very thin. It's very, um, I would say, not ch It feels, doesn't, uh, I want to say cheap, um, but it definitely looks cheap. Um, if you're a heavier player, you'll probably run through these like that, um, especially through a season or during a game. Like if you have, if you cut really, really hard, this thing's gonna rip, um, or will rip eventually. Because this is a, you got this, you got this mesh right here, and then you got some um, synthetics on the overlays right here, the fuse on the areas where you need it the most, um, and uh, that's pretty much it. It's very, very thin. You see that? There you go. You can see it right there. So uh, the shoe does bend very, very easily. Look at that. It's like a Nike Free. So um, definitely I would watch out if you're a bigger player, maybe like 200 pounds and more, maybe 180 and more. If you're heavy footed too, like just try them on. I'll probably shoot around in these. But if you're going to want this as your serious shoe, you might want to go get like the Kobe 10 or maybe like the Kobe 9 uh, because that'll have more structure to it. Now what I do love about this shoe is the heel lockdown in them. Um, you really got a nice internal cup inside and uh, around that is a very rigid um, collar. I love how this heel is shaped right here towards your, around your Achilles. Keeps it really nice and tight and secure for your heel. Uh, again, like I said, low tops need this security for your ankle so your ankle doesn't roll or it doesn't, you know, um, uh, get injured any much further when you do roll so um, you really want that security now the lacing system is good I had no trouble with it there is some minor pinching in right around around this area when you walk but uh, once you break them in which they are already broken in after a day uh, it goes away so um, they feel good you know they're very very lightweight um, and uh, if you have any Kobe 8s, Kobe 9s, this is a good shoe to have just to have it, you know, like a backup or anything. But definitely not going to be my main uh, go-to sneaker as of, as of right now because there's just way more better sneakers out there. But if you're on a budget, you need something like, you know, this is a good model to get. It's only 100 bucks. They're probably on sale right now at certain stores for 80 bucks. So 
um, yeah, there you have it, the Nike KB mentality. Like I said, they run true to size. The traction is good, the cushion is good, the lockdown is there, the support is there. Uh, support for me, support for me is there. Um, I'm a lightweight player, so I don't really need all that, um, you know, like the LeBron 12 kind of status of support. But if you're looking for something that's, uh, you know, uh, cheap, budget friendly, you know, um, this is a good shoe to have. So uh, that's it. That's going to do it for this uh, first impression. And I'm going to hoop in these on Monday and let you guys know how they are in my performance review and uh, so until next time thank you guys for watching keep subscribing please uh, here on this channel right here and visit us on kickslodges.com and until next time deuces oh wait let me do that again deuces chia there we go